Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, I'm coming back with another piercing video. This one's an exciting one. I'm going to be giving myself a little dermal on my face. Um, I've done two dermals. I've given my friend a chest dermal here, which was supervised by um, another piercer, kind of guiding me through it. That was about a year ago, um, but then I did give myself this little one just on my wrist, um, which was pretty difficult because Obviously I can only use one hand and I also used um, a needle instead of a biopsy punch. I locked my cat in my room, so if you can hear banging, that's her. <laughs> Let me just show you what I'll be using today. First I have my little dermal anchor and gem. Um, the post is 14 gauge and the gem I think is three millimeters. And then I have my little biopsy punch um my humostats by the way this has all been sterilized through an autoclave at my work um and then i just have a stencil pen to mark where i'm going to do it some alcohol swabs gloves and then the aftercare spray and some q-tips that's about it so that's what i've got set down in front of me um i'm just gonna go wash my hands chuck some gloves on and then let's get started hands are washed um the nerves are starting to kick in <laughs> but like thinking about it it's gonna be so much easier than this one here because i'm gonna have two hands and i'm using like the proper equipment gloves are on now let's clean the area watch my face just go really red in that one spot <laughs> i think i want it a little bit higher. I think I like that spot. Do I want it a little bit more down now? Getting the dot in the right position is honestly the hardest part about my job. <laughs> I think we have a winner. Okay. I really, really want to start uploading more, but I don't have many ideas for videos because I can't just keep constantly piercing myself. So if you guys have any other like videos you want to see other than just piercings or piercings as well, comment down below what videos you guys would like to see. All right, that is all twisted on. Very cute. I'm gonna have a little gem just here. It's really hard to see. If you guys can see, there's like little holes on the bottom of the anchor. That is so that um, while it's healing, your skin will kind of go through those holes and it'll just help it sit there a lot more sturdy. It's hard to pinch that area. All right. God damn, there was a whole drop of blood on my leg. All right, I'm just gonna clean around it with a little Q-tip and some sea salt spray. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at her, very red, but like obviously that's normal. All right, there is literally a bloody mess in front of me. So I'm gonna clean that all up real quick and then I'll be back. All right guys, I'm back, honestly. I would say that that was about a two or three out of 10. Like I was really expecting that to hurt a lot more. Um, but I also think because I was like concentrating really hard on getting it done rather than concentrating on the pain that probably helped it not hurt as much. Thankfully the 
anchor just went in really easily. Like when I did this one, it took me a while to get it in. Um, but yeah, that one went super easily and smooth. So I'm really thankful for that. All right, let's talk about the aftercare and the healing process of this one. So you're gonna wanna clean it twice a day. Um, do not use alcohol or Dettol or anything super harsh like that, just because it is going to inflame your piercing. It's better off to just use a sea salt spray or a saline solution. Um, I personally just use a sea salt spray and I get it on a little Q-tip and just clean all around it. You can also kind of just dab it with a tissue. Um, the main thing is just to not touch it or twist it or turn it or anything like that because the anchor is sitting under your skin and those little holes, you want your skin to go through those. If you keep spinning it around, it won't be able to do that. It's just kind of going to create like a little pocket in there and then it'll be super easy for it to just pop out sometime. Um, which you don't want. So the healing process takes about two to three months. Once the two to three months are over, you can change the top of them. Just go to a professional PSR and they should be able to easily change it over for you. All right, that is pretty much everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will have my Instagram and TikTok linked down below. Um, if you wanna see more of me, just go follow me there because I upload a lot more regularly than here on YouTube. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching um, and I'll see you in the next video.